Orchid Garden USA here. Today I'm going to show you three of my biggest Phalaenopsis orchids. I'm going to show you. This one is growing in a, I believe it's uh, over half a gallon uh, plastic jar. I got it from a uh, dollar store. It was a pitcher and I made it into a flower pot and I put holes in there. Uh, for the roots to breathe This is big. This is big orchids. Look how big this leaf is See Really really healthy. They're huge um, These when I bought it it was all together in one flower pot. It was three for one and um was $31 if you have to buy each one of these they're like $24.99 plus tax and this one is growing in a sphagnum moss as you can see there's a beautiful roots coming out um, keeps growing roots beautiful super healthy and there's a new leaf right here there's bugs been eating them I keep all of them outside uh, in summer in a shaded area never on a direct sun it will burn so uh, I water tell you how how much water and when all these flower pots is a DIY like I said I bought it when it was a pitcher and I put holes in there um, and then I put this right here I added these uh, this wire to hang on the tree and like I said growing in a sphagnum moss okay this one have new leaf coming out and this one is another one that's really really big look at this look at the leaves it's got lots of leaves right here it's got lots and lots of leaves 12 leaves and um so this one a little bit burned but it's gonna be okay so how much water do i put on this one I water my orchids as needed. I don't overwater them. This one, I just finished watering them, therefore they are still moist, growing in sphagnum moss. And um, when I water the garden, when on hot, really warm weather, I check them, which is, I put my finger in there to see if it's wet. And you can tell when the, when the sphagnum moss is gray, and it's very light means it needs water because right now it's really really heavy and it's moist so i put a whole bunch of balls or holes around it and underneath that way the water will drain out when i water i don't like to have all the roots soaked in water it will rot that's why so every time i water my garden i check them and if it needs water, I just aim the water hose on to the to the orchids and then spray them. I don't worry about if the water gets in here because it's growing outdoor and the water will dry out immediately. Okay, so there we go. Actually, I made a video of this orchid when I made this DIY flower pot and how I put this uh, hanging line right here so i'm gonna put that on the description the link on how i did it okay fertilizer i have not fertilized my orchids since spring i haven't fertilized them so it's due but i'm not worried about it right now usually once a month is when i use regular miracle grow plants fertilizer is my third largest orchid philanopsis there are plenty of hanging roots and it got damaged but it got injured but that's okay it's still not gonna hurt the plant so there are roots that are growing still looks healthy I checked none of them are putting out any spike I don't see any spike and this one have new leaf as well right here a uh, big orchid this one is split for some reason it does that but it's not gonna hurt the orchids so it's perfectly fine 
right here so when I water it leaves this line but it's easy to clean so I'm not worried about it right now it's not bothering the orchids and this one it got burned a little bit on the sun see right there like I said I water when it needs when it's needed I don't just water because I'm watering the garden it's not I water it when it's needed so anyway like I said I kept all my orchids outdoor in a shaded area not direct to the sun because the leaves these are loaded with liquid and when it dries out it burns and if I forget to water the orchids will live off the liquid from the from the leaves because these are loaded with liquid the leaves are that's why it can't be dried can't be hung directly on the sun that way it doesn't burn because i have experience and i have burned my some of my orchids but it lived through anyway so thank you so much so this is where i hang my three biggest orchids this is one of them it's hanging on the apple tree underneath away from the sunshine there it is the second one right here it's still under the apple tree the best place for it so it the sun sun the blazing hot warm sunny day does is away from it so it doesn't burn the leaves the third one right here more secure away from the sunshine as long as it's away from the sunshine they are safe they're not gonna get burned here i'm gonna show you how i water them I have this water hose right here. I'm gonna turn it on to a lower so it doesn't damage the leaves. So this is how I water my orchids. Just like that. I have lots of them in here. But just how I water my orchids. There's nothing uh, special to it, just water it. Doesn't matter if it gets watered in the middle on the crown, doesn't matter. It'll dry it out in the afternoon. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you like my video. And if you have any questions at all, just leave comments. If you are growing orchids uh, as a beginner, just leave comments if you have any questions on the video. And I will answer as soon as I can. Okay? All right. So thank you so much. Shout out to all the members and uh, super viewers. And also to all the Pia Miller team. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you soon.